Hello again there. Welcome to another data science video. In this presentation, we will see an implementation of the KNN algorithm using Scikit-Learn's class, KNeighbors Classifier. Let's begin with some fundamental intuition behind KNeighbors Neighbor and its algorithmic procedure. KNeighbors Neighbor, or KNN is a multi-class classifier. It is a supervised machine learning algorithm. The KNN algorithm looks at the label points nearby, an unlabel point, and based on this, predict what the label of the new data point should be. Thus it is the most simplest machine learning algorithm to classify a new instance. For example, consider we want to classify an iris flower. What should the KNN model do, if it recognizes several arises in the dataset? Of course, it attaches one label, or class, per flower it recognizes. Say, the classifier has been trained to recognize three different arises. Iris setosa, Iris for Sickler, and Iris for Ginica. Then, when a data is similar to Iris setosa, the model should predict Iris setosa. Such a classification system that outputs multiple classes, or labels, refers to as a multi-label classification system. K nearest neighbor is a simple way to classify data. K defines the number of nearest neighbors, or the individual data points. If we put a new instance in the data set, to find the category the new instance matches with, we calculate its nearest neighbors. The most amount of neighbors the data point is close to, the new instance falls into that category. As we can see in the above figure, an unknown instance, visualized as a green circle, we have placed in the dataset. If k equals 1, then the new instance is near one individual data points. In this case, the number of the yellow triangular categories is higher, therefore the new instance falls into the red category. So, if k equals 2, then the number of triangular neighbors, and the number of red quadrilaterals are same. So to avoid such cases, we should always choose an odd number as a value of k. Again, for the third figure, n neighbor equals 5, means the new instance is near 5 individual data points. In 5n neighbor, the number of yellow triangular data points is higher than the number of red quadrilaterals. Therefore the KNN classifier will predict the new data point will fall into the yellow triangular category. Now let's see the algorithmic approach of KNN classifier. KNN algorithm consists of two simple steps, for a new instance, or a new data point, as we have shown in the above figure, the green circle. Step 1, find the nearest neighbors for the value of k, or n neighbor, using Euclidean distance or Manhattan distance. There are also other methods to find nearest neighbors. Such as Scikit learns k neighbors classifier uses ball tree, kd tree, and Brid algorithm to compute nearest neighbors. And finally in step 2, the new instance will be classified as a particular class, based on the maximum number of nearest neighbors. The scikit learns k neighbors classifier class already implemented the algorithmic procedure of finding the nearest neighbors and predict the new instance based on the maximum number of a particular class. So far, we have covered a lot of fundamentals, now let's jump right into code. After implementing the KNN algorithm, we will also see how to find model accuracy using the confusion matrix and more powerful metrics to analyze model accuracy, such as classification report. We also look at the method to find the best value for number of nearest neighbors and find the best prediction result using k-fold cross-validation. Let's begin the procedure by importing the initial libraries to work with KNN. Here we will be working with the iris dataset, then importing the dataset and load it into the pandas data frame. Converting categorical species column to numeric values is not mandatory for this procedure, so we are leaving this step alone. If we need this step, we are going to come back and execute this later. Now let's see the distribution of data in the dataset. It is important in data analysis, because it helps to decide a suitable algorithm to model the dataset. We can map the data distribution using the principal component analysis, as we have discussed earlier, and also using the Seaborn pair plot. As we can see from the pair plot, that data points in the iris dataset do not overlap much with each other. Therefore we can assume, the KNN model might work better for this dataset. Now slicing the data frame for the input variable x and targeted output y. The targeted output should be converted to a one-dimensional numpy array before passing through the algorithm. We should scale the input data to center it to the origin. Then we will create a new data frame with scaled data and put the data frame into the input variable x.
Now splitting the data set randomly, using scikit-learn's train test split method for train and test set. Here we have chosen to keep 20% of data for testing purposes, and rest of the data will be used for training the model. So we will build now our KNN model. And using the input data set X train and targeted Y train set, we will train our model. After training the model, it will be ready to predict the targeted output for a new data point. Here is the prediction of the targeted output by the KNN model. Now let's check the accuracy of the prediction. As we can see that our model has predicted the target with over 90% accuracy. Now we will evaluate the performance of our model using the confusion matrix. So we are importing the confusion matrix function from the scikit-learn matrix module. Now to compute the confusion matrix, first, we need to have a set of predictions, so they can be compared to the actual targets, the white test dataset. Each row in a confusion matrix represents an actual class, while each column represents a predicted class. As we can see from the heat map of the confusion matrix that for the first column, first row, we have our model predicted 8 values correctly are the category 0, and no false prediction. From second column, second row, the KNN classifier predicted 11 values correctly are the category 1 species. Finally, in third column, third row, our model has predicted 10 values correctly are the category 2 species, and one falsely predicted as category 1 species. The confusion matrix gives us a lot of information, but sometimes we may need to prefer a more concise metric. Therefore we have imported the classification report from the scikit-learn matrix module. So here we have three functions. Precision, recall, and F1 score. The precision tells us the model was about 100% correct to predict the species. Iris setosa, 100% correct to predict Iris for sickler, and 91% accurate to predict Iris for Ginica. The recall function is almost similar to the precision function, which tells us the ratio of positive instances that are correctly detected by the classifier, the model. So for iris setosa, we have 8 true positives, no false negative. For iris for sickler, we have 11 true positives, and also 1 false negative of a total of 12 species. Finally, for iris for Ginica, our model predicted 10 true positives and no false negative. And the F1 score only gets high when both recall and precision are high. Now let's find the best value for the K or the N neighbor and K neighbors classifier. So for this, we will import cross val score from the SKLearns model selection. The function evaluates the model accuracy by cross validation. The cross val score initially accepts four parameters, the classifier itself, input X, targeted output Y, and CV, that stand for cross validation, which randomly split the data set into train and test set, and the cross val score function measures the model accuracy for each case. What we are doing here is, we have created an empty array, and for iterator 1 to 50 the cross-validation, randomly select 20% testing and rest of the data for the training the model, and the method continuously shuffle 20% test and train set, and store the accuracy in the ACK list. We then append the mean of the ACK list into the accuracy array. Now let's plot the accuracy in the graph. From the figure, we can see the average accuracy of the model prediction for K equals to 1 to 50. Now let's see the k-fold cross-validation technique to validate our model prediction accuracy. Just like the cross-val score, cross-val predict performs k-fold cross-validation. But, instead of returning the evaluation scores, it returns the predictions made on each test fold. This means that we get a clean prediction for each instance in the training set. Oh. This error causes, because, unlike the cross-val score, cross-val predict cannot automatically convert the categorical targeted output to numerical values. So we need to explicitly convert the targeted output first before applying the function.
Okay, we only converted the categorical species column, but we didn't assign the numerical column to output y. Now we are all set, let's run the code again.